Hello everybody, welcome to the IMIT YouTube channel. My name is Shabazz Dan, as ever, I am the IT Geek. Welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another episode in my uh, Windows 365 Advanced Security and Compliance series. So I've done a I've done a very introductory sort of series. Well, it's part of a series. I'll put the link in the description. So I'm kind of skipping all that sort of stuff. This series, and this is episode three in the series, is kind of uh, looking at sort of protecting Windows 365. So I'm, I'm, I'm past all the configuration. You, you know how to do all that, right? If you're watching this. And if you don't, I've got a, a link to the description. I'll link it in my description the series that I've done around that. Now, what I'm trying to do is show how we can secure and keep it compliant. So the first episode, I kind of onboarded it to Defender Cloud and the sort of um, EDR sort of stuff. And uh, I also showed some uh, network security you can do on your NSG that's linked to your network connection within or your virtual network connection within Windows 365. And last episode, I did some more compliance around um, um, conditional access and kind of showing again how we can put a layer of protection uh, on our Defender again, again using uh, on our Cloud PC using Entra ID. And in that, we created a, a policy to essentially block uh, risky sign-ins but also block sign-ins from locations that are not trusted and i kind of showed how that policy was applied i put it in report on them also wouldn't block me today we're going to kind of pivot kind of go back to defender for cloud because uh so i'm in intro at the moment i just wanted to double show you exactly look that this is a defender for, for endpoint connector status so we looked at in the first episode and we looked at endpoint detection response we looked at onboarding and we we enabled the edr onboarding status so we configured the policy as you can see things are onboarding now before the cpc my cloud pc for shabba that wasn't onboarded that said no and obviously now i've got this bruce one now what i've actually done is um, in this episode i've, I've kind of i want to show i essentially simulated a an attack kind of a a, a a local sort of download attack basically um so i actually downloaded a, a specific file um i basically did a, an ei car download and the test site is here so this is the site that i use it's a, it's a legit site uh, and it's for testing anti malware it's like anti malware test file so i downloaded a couple of these files and straight away they were blocked by the antivirus um and what i'm now able to do is come into so i'm in defender for cloud now so i'll close that down i'm in defender for cloud now and if i actually go down now if i've got the relevant policies sort of configured where yeah, there we go so we see it here this has come up as an alert so eicar test file malware was pre prevented and all that happened is in my in my windows um 365 cloud pc it came with a little pop-up at the bottom to say this was blocked it let me download it i had a couple of warnings i had to accept and then i downloaded it, it was a zip file a text file and it was blocked straight away i was basically um, i wasn't able to get access to the file and my my defender for endpoint did what it should be doing if we go into this it's going to tell us a little bit about the alert where it happened so just to prove where it actually happened on that device and it gives us a bit of a process tree here um and this this is basically um showing as a device it happened on where shall it say that uh all this information happening in the cloud client um that there is basically showing you that it happened on my cpc bruce pc so there you go that's where i initiated it um and this just goes through the sort of process tree of what happened and the sort of uh, alert timeline so it was malware was prevented and what I'm trying to show here is again a level of protection that we can do. And again, when when you are you know when you are deploying uh, EDR and sort of Defender for Endpoint to your defend to your Windows 365 Cloud PC, you've got this integration with the Defender XDR portal that allows you to not just block these things, but actually investigate what happened, how did it get there, which device did it happen on. Um, you get a timeline of when it happened. You get a bit of a process tree. Um, and this is really, really powerful for SOC teams. Um, so it gives us a lot of information. And what I just wanted to kind of show was how doing that onboarding, and I wanted to show that the onboarding worked, obviously. Doing the onboarding and, and then actually initiating a sort of simulated threat scenario was allowed me to come in here and uh, to defend her for, for endpoint, look at the alert, actually um, investigate it. And then you can also kind of go into... Um, if we just minimize this, um, minimize that as well. So this is where my sort of alerts are. We can also go into reports as well. So um, go to the report section 
And then we'll go to threat protection once it loads. I'll put that, that test site that I used in the link, uh, description in the link so you can use that. Simulate your own. Um, very, very useful, especially in these sort of scenarios. Um, so I want the, uh, is there a threat protection one? Email collaboration, cloud apps, identities, in endpoints. Uh, might be, no, which one do we want? Vulnerable devices, tax reduction rules, no device control, the device health, um, monthly security summary. No, I doubt that's going to give us what we want. But anyway, you can. there's lots of different reports you can pull off um, regarding, you know, these sort of incidents as well. And if you're looking, so there's just some general ones there. But you've got for endpoints, you've got vulnerable devices, you've got tax service reduction rules, you've got device control, so it shows you the sort of media usage data. You've got sort of, um, I said device health might show us actually. Um, don't know if it'll be up to date because well, it says four devices don't have antivirus, so it's not very up to date. Um, but this would show us sort of the alert, and it shows the information about the alert. Um, so again, going into uh, the alert, let's go back into the alert. We can just dig down and, and get more information about it and get some more insights and things like that. So it's really, really powerful, and I want to kind of show that integration a bit a bit deeper with uh, what we enabled in episode one um, so just try and demonstrate how you can look at the alerting once you initiate or once a threat is initiated you can also pull off some reports as well uh, so yeah like i said i think the next episode we're going to be doing um we we'll just double check i think we're going to be uh, pivoting again onto intune yes so we're going to have a look at intune in a bit more depth look at those sort of um, configuration policies we'll do that we'll actually do that in nerdio We'll go into Nerdio and do the sort of uh, configuration policies and compliance policies and things like that. Um, and hopefully we'll see how we can integrate that and integrate Intune a bit further because Intune is where you manage it, right? From a Windows 365 perspective. Um, so today has been more Defender for Endpoint integration, but we will pivot on to um, Intune specifically and we'll look at how we can um, integrate that. So thank you for watching. I've got loads of useful links in my description, a link to my, uh, where my, there's my cat. You can see, where's my cat? There he is, he's there. Um, we can look at the, um, I've got exam content. So Microsoft exam content, uh, I've got three levels. It's, it's members only, unfortunately, but I've got three levels, essentially. I've got level one, two, and three. Level one is for sort of, um, you know, your fundamental. I've got SE 900 coming. I've got MS 900 and AZ 100 already there. And I've got then level two, which is more associate level, AZ 700, AZ 140. Um, I'm also working on AZ 104 at the moment, but I've also got, I think I've got SC 200 and, uh, SE 300 and I've got SE 100 in my sort of um, level 3 stuff because that's more kind of architecture um, so yeah lots of useful links I'll put a link into my old series as well around Windows 365 so thank you for watching until next time goodbye